coming up on NTV News. Local schools visit our campus to trick or treat, and you don't want to miss these little munchkins. Also, we discuss the impact that the pandemic has had on small businesses and how important community is during these times, all right here on NTV News. Coming to you from NTV Studios, I'm Brayden Russell. And I'm Kale Laurel, and we're bringing you news that matters. Munchkins on Campus is a community service project while all the programs at Northeast Tech bring candy to give out to all the little munchkins from the nearby schools. Take out candy! Here at Northeast Tech, community service is very important. Each year, the students and staff get to decorate, dress up, and hand out candy to the kids around the surrounding elementary schools. your favorite costume? Oh, I love the Woody. So cute. We had two students that came out with the Woody costume and they were so good. And then lots of princesses and it was perfect. Everybody looked so cute. What was your favorite part of Munchkins on Campus? I think it was the kids getting off the bus and how excited they were. And then when we passed them out their little candy bags, they just got, they just got so excited. They're laughing, they're smiling, they're just uh, jumping up and down and then seeing the kids come back and then they opening their, uh, their bags full of candy and they just go, look what I got! And they were, they were so sweet. What do you and your students do to prepare for munchkins on campus? Um, the students have to go and um, tell all the different classes what we're going to do and um, about collecting candy and then this year you know we had a competition that worked out really well with uh, each class uh, competing to bring the most candy and that that was great so we had a great turnout thank you everyone for donating candy this favorite part of munchkins on campus the costumes I think it's definitely the costumes and seeing how excited they are for the candy, for sure. What is your favorite thing about Munchkins on campus? Seeing all the little kids' costumes. Okay. What are you guys dressed up as today? Uh, 70s hippies, I don't know. 70s. And what's your favorite part of Munchkins on campus? Definitely seeing all the little kids in their costumes. Yeah, just seeing all the kids and giving them candy, it was so fun. What is your favorite piece of candy? Hot chocolate. Skittles. Gum. What are you dressed up as today? Chucky. What's your favorite part of Halloween? About scaring people. What was your favorite costume, Kale? I really liked the Mario costume. That's cool. My favorite was the Batman costume. Not being able to eat some of your favorite items off the menu at your favorite restaurant has become more common than ever. Let's go over to a local restaurant and speak with them about how the pandemic is affecting their business and how they are working to get your favorite items back in their kitchens. We had the opportunity to interview a local business in Pryor, Oklahoma named Las Fuentes and get some feedback on the ongoing food shortage taking place throughout the entire country and how it affects small businesses and big businesses alike. Uh, I would say yes, being a smaller business is more difficult receiving products just because I feel like a lot of our service companies, they focus more on them than they do on the smaller businesses because they're more of a priority to them. We asked if they had trouble finding employees through these trying times. They explained how it has been more difficult than ever to find workers. didn't know where we were going it was just like we were in the dark um, you don't we didn't know if we were gonna make a good decision or a bad decision we just had to go we just had to go with the flow Jose emphasized that it is even more important now than ever that we support our local businesses during these trying times being a business and the and the way that we do things here I think the community is everything this has been a very difficult time for all businesses, especially smaller local businesses. Let's all do our part by supporting these businesses in these trying times. We can all get through this together. Thank you for turning into this NTV News broadcast. This was Kale and Braden signing, signing off. off.